Welcome everyone to our BC Series product walkthrough video. I'm Brandon Smith. I'm a senior product manager here at Zinc 5. And today we're gonna to talk about our BC2, our BC2 300X and our BC2 500 products. We're gonna talk a little bit about how they're different. And we're also gonna talk about our features and benefits. First, we're gonna start with our BC2 cabinet. This started as a redesign for our original BC, which optimized our linear width and our packaging to improve our power density. With data centers today, power density is important. And with containerized and skid mounted power systems, the linear width is vital. With that, we've gone with a 533 millimeter wide or 21 inch wide cabinet, which is extremely narrow, reducing that linear width of your system. We also have gone with a 36 inch deep or 914 millimeter deep cabinet to finish that packaging off. Because of the compact design, we've had to improve the airflow through the cabinet, so we have added fans. Now these only come on during a discharge and they only stay on until the battery system has cooled below 40 C. They're not required for function, but they are standard in our cabinet as they significantly improve the airflow through the system. In terms of installation, we have very minimal spacing requirements. Our cabinets have no side to side spacing requirement, which means you can stack them right next to each other in an installation. Through the top, you can access our BMS components. So we do recommend a 24 inch or 610 millimeter spacing from the top. In the rear, we only recommend a half inch or a 13 millimeter spacing to allow airflow from the fans to come out the rear. But that does mean you can install our cabinets back to back with each other or back to back with a wall as well. With that, we have our breaker and BMS connections up here in the top. Tray 8 houses all of our BMS components, which we'll do a deep dive on here in just a minute. But we have mounted the breaker vertically to allow for water falling cables in through the top. And we do have a high voltage conduit box with knockouts on the top as well to help improve that installation speed. With our system being a high power, high current solution, we have gone with bus bar connections throughout the cabinet. This reduces the impedance path of the system, but allows us to maintain our 800 amp continuous current rating on this product and a 1200 amp continuous current rating on our BC2500, which we'll talk about a little bit later. For serviceability, we provide a tray support bracket with our systems that allows you to pull out our battery trays as one complete unit safely to access the batteries or BMS as needed. Our BC series products all come with the flexibility to include 37, 38, or 39 batteries and will be configured to your requirements. Our cabinet is extremely robust and it is seismic certified. We do ship with our X braces installed, that is for transport and for high seismic zones. They can be removed if you're in a non seismic area, but they also help transport our cabinet. We do ship the product as you see here with our batteries installed, our BMS connected which significantly reduces our on-site install time compared to other product lines. Now that we've talked about the cabinet solution, let's dive a little deeper on the BMS and tray eight. So here we have tray eight. Again, this houses all of our BMS components. We collect all of the battery and system level data and we bring it up to the top of the cabinet here. This is easily accessible through the top of the cabinet for any service related items. However, when all of the data comes up to our R3000 here, it is available Modbus TCP through the front port here. We also offer our system level data collection device. This is called our BX50. This can connect to up to 50 battery cabinets, collect all of the data that the cabinets sample and store all of that data for the life of the system. The BX50 also has a user interface where service organizations or data centers can view the data in real time download the data and even do some trending. So it's a very powerful service tool. In the front here, we have our thumb drive port where you can do a quick data download. We have our Modbus TCP port where you can pull all of our data and alarms via Modbus. And we also have individual cabinet power control. Now, unlike other systems, all of the BMS control is housed in each cabinet. We don't have any system level controllers making decisions which gives our cabinets the autonomy that they need. In terms of power source, our battery cabinet is standard with a 110, 240 volt AC power supply. However, we do have an option to add a second power source that is either a 110, 240 volt AC also, or you can opt for a 600 volt DC power supply. So with that, you have the option to have redundant power supplies, but also potentially redundant power sources for the BMS. We also provide terminal strips for our customers. This will have access for dry contacts as well as UPS breaker control, 
So depending on your UPS manufacturer and whether they do shunt trip or under voltage relay, we have the ability to do both of those right here. So now that we've talked about our BMS, let's talk about our batteries a little bit. We make two batteries. Both of these are a 13 volt nominal, eight cell nickel zinc based battery. We have our blue top battery here, which is an 80 amp hour solution. Now this comes in our BC2 cabinet and targets around 800 amps of continuous current. For the higher power solution, we utilize a 90 amp hour battery. Now these have the same case and dimensions, but we were able to add a little bit more active material in this battery here, giving it a higher amp hour, more energy, more runtime, and a 1200 amp continuous current rating. Now, both of these solutions offer extreme power density, but they also provide sustainability and recycling benefits that are vital for our industry. We're proud that both of these batteries are being selected by our customers because they reduce their ESG metrics and provide a sustainable battery option for the marketplace. So now that we've talked about our cabinet, our BMS and our batteries, let's go look at the BC2300X and the BC2500 solutions. Now our BC2300X uses our standard BC2 cabinet, same bus bars, same BMS, except we've swapped in our 90 amp hour battery. What that does is it gives our 300X more runtime at same powers. So it still targets our 800 amp continuous current that our BC2 product does, but for more runtime. So it's perfect for customers that are looking for longer than five minute runtimes, but still want a power dense footprint. For the most power dense solution we offer, we move up to the BC2500. Now this cabinet is shown in white today, which is an option, although black is standard. The BC2500 utilizes the same 90 amp hour battery as our BC2300X, However, we've given more strength to the power path. So this cabinet is rated for the full 1200 amp of continuous current that that 90 amp hour battery can do, which gives us the most power dense solution in our lineup and is perfect for AI and high performance compute solutions. So with that, we've talked about our BC2500, our BC2300X and our BC2 product. Those are the three solutions that we offer the marketplace today and we look forward to working with you to figure out which one of these products is right for you. We take safety, sustainability, power, and reliability into everything we do because that's the power of good chemistry.